Okay, so here's the 3D active projector, and underneath it is a Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player, and this is really all you need with the 3D glasses to show uh, pretty convincing 3D. Now, I'm going to fire these up. I'm going to use the remote here to turn the projector on, and then we'll turn the uh, Blu-ray player on. And here is an SD card that has the MPO files on it that are formatted for 3D. Now the nice thing about this uh, little player is it's got an SD card um, slot. So what we need to do is put the card in the slot. Here we go. So. Now we have to wait for this to warm up just a second, and it's going to show you uh, the different uh, icons here. And so we take the remote, so this is the Panasonic remote, and let's see, we're going to go to photo, and we got to go up to SD card and click that. Actually, you didn't even need to click it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's 2D and 3D. Of course we want 3D, but what we're going to do first is pick the correct folder, which is Anatomy and Depth. So we're going to go down to that folder. We're going to say OK. And there's, there's uh, this is just two images right now. When you get yours, there's going to be a full slate. And so we see that this is 3D, but we need to hit this 3D button, which is this blue button on the remote. So if I hit that blue button, it's going to say Confirm 3D photo, say OK. Blank screen will be displayed while switching, OK. It's going to switch over to 3D. And when it does, it should say 3D on the top tab instead of 2D. And there we go, now it's 3D. So all you have to do is say OK. And there's our double image. You can see it's a double image, so it's definitely going to be 3D. And now all we have to do is grab the 3D glasses, there's a little button on the top that you press, a little green light comes on, put them on, and yes, we have 3D. Now, right now this happens to be inverted, so I'm just going to hit the button again, and it's perfect 3D. So if for some reason it's inside out, We'll click the button, but most of the time when you click it, it should not be inside out. But if you click it again, it's going to be perfect 3D, and that's all there is to it.